Hello, my name is Ikeen Skies and we are back with another video. Now, today we are going to be talking about one of the most must-watch TV superstars in WWE. Her name is Alexa Bliss and she's probably one of the most on-fire superstars in WWE. I mean, it almost seems like she can't mess up anything. Her and The Fiend are must-watch TV and it just doesn't stop there. The ratings seem to go up every time they're promoted and the storyline and promos between them are so good that they seem like the main characters of WWE. I wanted to rank every single Alexa Bliss that we have seen so far in her career and <laughs> yeah, just have some fun. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first and worst version of Alexa Bliss will be going to the sparkling bubbly version of Alexa Bliss. This Alexa Bliss was solid but she was so new to NXT that nobody really had an impression on her. She was just a Bailey that walked that wrestled very solid every match and didn't really do anything after. But she was good between the times. She had very solid matches. She used to spend uh, glitter in her hand every time she came out and it was good the time that she had. This lasted from 2013 to probably 2014, only a year before she turned into the goddess and paired her up with Murphy. Now, the second version is the face Alexa Bliss run that lasted only a short period of time because she was brainwashed by the fiend. Alexa soon adopted a babyface run after pairing herself with Nikki Cross. It started as a heel thing, but Alexa actually developed a good friendship with Nikki Cross and ended up with them winning the tag team titles before giving it up to Sasha and Bayley with their glorious tag team run. This Alexa Bliss was silent and it was a breath of fresh air to finally get a good face run by Alexa Bliss in such a long, long time, and it belongs in this spot. Now, the next spot on this list that is above the, the face run and the sparkly bubbly version of Alexa Bliss is General Manager Alexa Bliss. Now, this might be a forgotten gimmick, but you forget, Alexa Bliss was actually a manager of the women's division sometime. This is, um, she was given order over the women's division by no other than King Corbin. Now, <laughs> that really sounds crazy in 2021, doesn't it? Surprisingly, she really clicked as a general manager, and at this time, people were also complaining about her getting pushed all the time and becoming the new Charlotte. So for her to take a step back was really rewarding and good for her career as a whole. This lasted to 2000. 18 to 2019 before she got injured and came back to a solid pop that really transitioned into the face run I was just talking about and I like this because not only was she good at this spot but it didn't really it, it, it changed it was definitely something different and that is why it's in this spot Now, the next gimmick comes in second to best because it was probably the best move for her career in the long run, and the hill run created so many title and good opportunities. The goddess debuted, debuted in, w, in NXT and was very, very good because the hill run allowed her to talk on the mic, and you guys know what happens when Alexa gets on the mic. This also allows her to have several title reigns as the goddess and be the ultimate heel in a very good career run. If I had to pick the best period of this run in particular, it was in her prime on the SmackDown 2016 because it was just golden. Her run with the SmackDown Women's Championship was one for the ages and her feud with Becky Lynch was good as well. This was the best run for her career. It started in NXT, it ended in 2018 and was possibly one of the best decisions of her career. It really showed how good of a heel she can be and not only that, it showed how good of a wrestler she really is too. Now, she isn't no Sasha Banks in the ring, but can she get out and make a good match? Yes, she can. This was the best run for her career, but do I think it's the best gimmick? Mm, not quite. What I think was the best gimmick, obviously we had to put this in the first spot because it's probably one of the most best Alexis Blisses we have ever 
scene. The Goddess run was pretty well, but I don't think it's as nearly as perfect as Crazy Alexa Bliss. This Alexa Bliss has perfect acting, charisma, and everything else that goes into making a good superstar. She is also paired with Bray Wyatt booking to have reinsurance, so Vince McMahon just can't mess her up if he wants to. And that is really good as well. This is the best Alexa Bliss by far, and I have no regret putting this Alexa in the number one spot. My name is I King Skies. There it is. Alexa Bliss, the fiend <laughs> Alexa Bliss, the crazy Alexa is number one. And I think it's the best gimmick we're going to get out of her. I don't think she's going to top. She is so good right now. And I don't think she's going to top it. Anyway, my name is I King Skies. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I got them by chain, show some on the ass like I'm the new king. Passing these bitches like life is all easy, just screaming to the mic like my name is.